this part of town that I I go to every now and then. It's called Wedgwood, Houston. One of my favorite Pilates studios is here. And there's this whole new development being built. And it's really cool. <laughs> I'm um, exploring it right now. It's really cool. And it's making me sad that I might be leaving this place because there are a lot of really cool developments in the city. I just, I just don't know if I can do it like another winter and spring here. It's been really rough on me. And then this place, this place is called Iggy's. It's an Italian place. It's a fine dining Italian place. Well, it's not fine dining, but it's a really acclaimed Italian place. And I'm going there tomorrow night with one of my friends. So I'm so excited. Look at this. This is like the entryway and you go in and they have these huge beams, which I think is like a really nice touch because they kind of look like scissors or they look like, they look like more like, I don't know. They look like tools. So I think that's really cool. And then they have like these bright green container type of lining on the end. I mean, on the outside. And then they have like these cool hands right there. I think that's, I think this is so cool. I, here we go. I live in a part of town that is more like historic centered. So things don't really look like this. And I, I love the history centered parts of town, but I also really love like industrial, industrious. I really like like industrial looking things. So I don't know. I just really think it's a cool part of town. But anyway. ready for work this is my outfit I really like it. it's cute I wanted to wear a tank top but my bra strap showed and that was just like weird for work so I just ugh, I just like whatever um but anyway this skirt I think is like from Amazon this shirt is from Old Navy which is kind of random because I don't really go to Old Navy a lot but I actually randomly I went like last week and I bought so much stuff I got like $60 worth of stuff and I was like I never go to this place like what am I doing but anyway, shoes are Birkenstocks. I absolutely love these. Um, they were kind of expensive. They're like 160 bucks, which I feel like is kind of expensive for Birkenstocks, but they are so cute. I bought them for my Europe trip in September because uh, I just feel like they're very like easy, breezy, walkable, look good with a lot of stuff, but are still like fashionable. And then my watch is a Garmin, and then these bracelets I got in New York City, these little bobble bracelets. And then I just have some earrings on. I don't know where they're from, but cute. I put some like wavy stuff in my hair, so it just looks like a little messy and wavy and beachy, which I really like. But I had some coffee already. I worked out this morning, as you guys saw. And I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. I don't know. I'm just taking it as an answer to prayers because I was praying that I started to wake up earlier. And I have just been waking up at 5 a.m. with like no alarm. So 
I take it as a win. 5 a.m. total slay. I feel energized. I feel ready. Like I'm like amped. I'm just charged. Like I just feel good. I feel good. And I like read more of my book. I read more of The Assassin's Blade, which is the book that I'm on in The Throne of Glass. I'm hoping to finish it by Sunday. It's been taking me about like a week to read these books. So it took me about a week to read Throne of Glass. It took me about a week to read Crown of Midnight. And right now it's taking me about a week to read The Assassin's Blade. I just don't have a lot of time in my day to sit down and read these books. But I am charging through. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start getting the audiobook and I'm gonna tandem read. Like I'm gonna tandem sit down and read. Ooh, that reminds me, I should probably put um, Air of Fire, I think that's the next one. I should probably put Air of Fire as the, um, I should probably put that audiobook on hold right now so that I'll have it by the time that I finish this one. But anyway, okay. All that being said, whatever, whatever, whatever. This morning was so slay. And I only got, my watch says I only got five hours of sleep. I don't think that's true. I think I went to bed at like 11. So I think I got like six hours of sleep, but either way, I feel really good. I know tonight is probably gonna be a really early night because I can, I can feel it in my body. Once you get older, your body, you just become much more in tune with your body because I feel like your body becomes so, so much more sensitive. But I can definitely feel it in my body that I did not get enough sleep, but I don't feel like awful. You know what I mean? Like I, I still feel, I feel pretty good. A few things. One, Sabrina Carpenter's album comes out in August. I'm so excited. I love her so much. I love Sabrina Carpenter. I think she is the like perfect pop star. She's like handling it so perfectly well. She's like a perfect balance between like down or down to earth and snarky and sarcastic and bubbly and cute and cutesy girly pop star. But a few of my friends and my mom included have some gripes with her in the sense of like they don't like how she's like hyper sexual. But I don't think she's hypersexual. I think she's only hypersexual with nonsense. Like the last uh, lines that she does, like the ad lib lines that she does at the end of nonsense, which I don't like that song to begin with. Like I'm just not a nonsense girly, to be honest. And the end of that song, yeah, I, I don't like when she does that because I don't like hypersexual pop stars. And so, yeah, I don't love that she does that. But it's really only with that song. Her album comes out in August. She just announced her tour and I have to get tickets. I am so excited I'm getting tickets. Second of all, I really wanna see Conan Gray because Conan, Conan's on tour, but he's not coming to Nashville. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that. And then there's also Charlie XCX. She's doing the Bratz tour, the Brat tour with um, uh, my king. What is the, my, what is his name? My queen. What's his name? I don't know why I'm blanking right now. Um, I've literally met him and like, I love all of Troy Sivan. Anyway, I gotta go into work. I can feel it now. I'm starting to really feel the tiredness. Like I'm feeling really, really tired. I need some extra caffeine. I will catch up with you guys later. It is 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning, and I'm awake. I woke up again, naturally, at 5 a.m. this morning on a weekend. I don't know, every day I've been waking up at 5 a.m., and on the weekends, I've been trying to sleep in, like, at least till 6 or maybe 7, just to, like, I don't know, try and get, like, a little bit more rest. I don't know, at least to, like, have a little bit of leisure time, but I just keep waking up at 5 a.m., and... I literally have no idea why, but it's happening. It's all happening, so whatever. But basically, I woke up, I went for a walk, 
and I'm back now. Back to the house. I have church at 11 in two hours, so I have to get ready. I've already had my coffee, so I'm contemplating if I need another cup or not. Of course, I want another cup, but I don't know if that's the smartest choice, just with like my anxiety with caffeine. Also, I got this dress in the mail, the one that I'm wearing right now, literally like yesterday. And I got it from Amazon, obviously, and I love it. I've been looking for athletic dresses for like such a long time. And I bought some off of Amazon, but they were too large. Like I bought a large and I should have bought a medium. And I don't know why, but I just started looking at name brands rather than just rebuying the Amazon brand. And I was just not finding any that I liked. Like I didn't like the Lululemon ones. They were too expensive anyway. I didn't like Old Navy ones. I didn't like Airy ones. I didn't like, like I just wasn't finding any that I liked. And so finally I was just like, frick it. I'm just gonna buy the Amazon one again, but just get a medium, like get a size down. And it's perfect. It literally fits me perfectly. I was like, why didn't I do this sooner? So I think I'm gonna buy like one more cause I really like the fun colors. I also bought this bag. I just need like, I need like a, a throw around tote that isn't like nice because I have the Longchamp ones, but those are like nicer. Like, I don't want to put like my workout clothes in that. Like, you know what I mean? Or like if I'm going to the park, I don't want to take that. So this is kind of like my park workout bag. I also got it from Amazon. I'm a little iffy on the size. Like I feel like it's a little small. I bought, this is the size medium and then I have a size up that's a size large. But I can't remember the price difference, but like I think the large is like significantly more expensive. Like I think it's like eight to ten dollars more expensive. And it's only like an inch bigger up here and over here. So I'm like, is it really that big of a difference? And it also has like it has this strap that goes over the top for like your yoga mat that you can put right here. So I think that's really awesome. I love that. I don't take my yoga mat a lot of places, but if I did, I just really like that option. I can also use it for like a beach towel or a blanket or like something like that. Anyway, okay, that's it. I will see you guys in the next clip. I don't know if I have anything else to update you guys on, but if this is the end of this vlog, then thank you guys for watching. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing and supporting me along this journey. My YouTube channel is like my small little baby. It's just like my diary. It's like my digital diary. And I'm thinking of, like, starting series. Like, I think I'm going to call this my almost 30 diaries. I don't know, because I turn 30 next year. Sigh. I don't know. Anyway, love you guys. You guys are the best. See you guys in the next vlog. I'm so excited for this journey of my YouTube channel. And I really think uploading on Thursdays will be better than what I'm currently doing. But I guess we'll see. Okay, I love you guys.